All right, here we go. Top 10 teams. Really tough at the bottom end of this. I don't know if I'm right, but here we go. Third hierarchy. Time is now. Let's go. The top 10 NFL teams according to college. Number 10. Listen, I'm going to go with the Chargers. It's a passing league, and they're second in the league in passing. They've got weapons. And believe it or not, even after losing Rashawn Slater, the left tackle, Herbert's the least sacked quarterback in the league. That tells you they got a Pro Bowl center and some depth on the offensive line. Listen, they're three and two. Now, they've only beaten the Raiders, Texans, and Browns. But this is a passing league. I like the weapons. I love the quarterback, and they're protecting him. I got the Chargers at 10. Number nine. The Bengals, most underrated defense in the league. They have no stars. Does everybody understand how good this defense is? It's allowing the lowest completion percentage in the league. And the announcer said this the other night. I think it was Mike Tirico. It's a great defense, but they just don't have an Aaron Donald or a Jalen Ramsey or a, somebody named Bosa. This is a real defense. Now, the concern is they have taken away the deep shots for Joe Burrow. They're, they're literally defending him different, so they're only averaging about 4.8 yards a play, which is bottom quarter of the league. That they got to get right, Bengals at nine. Number eight. Dallas, it's mostly a defensive story. They've held all five of their opponents to a touchdown. Now, some of this is they've been playing, you know, less than dynamic offenses, but... If you can win with a backup, and I mean, you watch that Rams game. They had that thing won seven minutes in. Block punt, defensive touchdown. So they've scored in 13 consecutive quarters. That's with a backup. 13, no team in the league has done that, not even Kansas City. They have scored in 13 consecutive quarters. Cowboys at eight. Number seven. My Vikings. I called it. I said that all those close losses are going to become close wins with an offensive coach. Um, Minnesota's only loss came on the road Monday night football to Philadelphia. Now, they're not great enough to blow people out. That's why they can struggle with Chicago or struggle with Detroit. They're not that dynamic at quarterback. But Kirk Cousins leads the NFL with three game-winning drives. And that was my whole rant this offseason. Kirk Cousins needs to feel supported. He's a very solid B to B plus quarterback when he feels supported. He didn't last year. He got tight late in games. This year, he's not. This is a real fo- – I don't think it's a Super Bowl team, but it's a win a division, win a playoff game t- uh, team. Vikings at seven. Number six. Listen, uh, Tampa Bay. Okay, they lost. They were all beat up, and when they were injury riddled, they lost to the Chiefs and Packers. I- I'm okay with this team. They were literally missed all their receivers in one game. Brady, this is the most pass-centric offense <laughs> Brady's ever had. He's he's has 141 completions. That's tied for the most in the NFL. He's a 45 year old quarterback. That's not the way it's supposed to work. And uh, they lead the NFL in sack differential. So Tom gets protected, and they get after your quarterback. I got the experience. I got the defensive personnel. I got Brady and playmakers. I put them at six. They could be low. Number five. But I love Baltimore. Listen, they've led by double digits, 10-plus points in all five of their games. Their defense leads the NFL in takeaways, and Lamar's got 10 passing touchdowns from the middle of the pocket. So that's viewed as the weakness, right? You know, Lamar, the throwing part, you know, he's got 10 touchdowns standing in the pocket, tied for the most in the NFL. Um, It is weird. They're not a great home team, which I always thought Baltimore was one of the toughest places in the league to go play. I think, by the way, here's a new rule on the show. Primetime game, Pick Harbaugh. I mean, John Harbaugh has got to be the most underrated coach of my lifetime. The bigger the game, the better the Ravens play. Ravens at five. Number four. God, I love the Niners. Too bad half the team is hurt. This team is, first of all, fewest yards per play allowed in the NFL. Nobody gives you less per play than the Niners. They lead the NFL in sacks and sack differential. They have the number one scoring defense. This without multiple starters. They have been ravaged by injuries. They lost another four this week. This team is loaded, and Garoppolo doesn't make mistakes. He's Chris Paul, third in the league in touchdown-to-interception ratio. If this team gets healthy, I'll call it right now, they're the, they're the first or second best team in the league. They're not close to healthy now, and they're still winning games convincingly. That is a roster. Number three. The Bills. Okay, listen, we all like the Bills. 20 of their last 22 wins are blowouts. My concern is, why don't they win close? Because they, con- they don't have a consistent run game. They don't get those tiny yards. 
They are too dependent on Josh Allen, and he's great. If you got to be dependent on somebody in the league, make it Josh Allen or Mahomes. That part I like. Um, but they only win one way, blowout. You're not going to blow out Kansas City. You're not going to blow out Baltimore. You're going to be in close games. They have got to figure out a way to consistently run the ball when it's not in the hands of Josh Allen. Bills at three. Number two. The Chiefs. Um, you know, they're like they're like the opposite of the Niners. It's all, Most of their talent's on offense, but they are situationally brilliant. Um, playmakers on offense. Smartest offensive coach. Best quarterback. There's not a lot I don't like. Um, They lead the NFL in first downs. They had almost 30 last night. So here's the other thing about them. They just moved the chains. And nobody in the league plays better from behind. That is a huge quality in the NFL. They're a great team from behind. I have them at two. Number one. I don't think they're a Super Bowl team, but Philadelphia's stats, folks, fewest giveaways. Lead the NFL in big plays. Yes, they do with 44. Um, they have the most takeaways and the fewest giveaways. So they, they play great defense. They protect the quarterback. They lead the NFL in turnover differential. Only team not to have trailed in the second half. I don't know if they're peaking early, but the data tells you right now they make no mistakes. They force you into them. They dominate time of possession. And you would think, oh, it's kind of a, they don't do a lot of big plays. They lead the NFL, they lead the NFL in big plays. Uh, some of this is front office. Some is Jalen Hurts. Um, it's just impressive. That's all I know. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.